So hello guys, welcome back. In this video I'm going to teach you how to perform post requests and how to assert them. We will take a look at three common real life scenarios. First is create new user. As you can see there is a post endpoint for create. And also we'll take a look at API login successful and API login failed. As you can see there are also posts for requests and for login successful and unsuccessful. So let's start with the first and that is create new user post request. So now let's go into our tests. Let's remove this test.only. Let's create new test and name it post request create new user. So first what we want to do is again const response and we want to call await request dot but in this case we want to use post and we want to use the base URL and let's take a look what's the endpoint and for the post create there is api slash users so we need to add slash users and now this is a post request which means we need to pass it some data which we want to provide with the request so we need to pass it second argument and that is actually data so let's give it name data and what we need to pass there and that is an ID for example so we can create a user with ID of 1000 just like this also you can provide a name and a job or ID and but not created at created at is done automatically so that's it this is how our like post request looks like we want to call post onto base url slash user and we want to give it a data of id 1000 on this endpoint we basically are telling the rest api hey create new user and give him this id and the rest can be generated randomly so now again we need to find the response body This will be basically always the same and now how to actually assert it so we can take a look again at console.log response body because we don't know what is coming with the response so hit type only open terminal run the test and let's see what's coming in that specific response body and you can see we have two values one for id which is 1000 and the second one is created at so let's assert it we can now remove the console log and you want to call expect response body dot id to be 1000 because it's supposed to be 1000 because we are creating a new user with id 1000 and also we want to assert that there is the value for the created add so response body created add to be true again this is a good example of what you cannot basically automate because the timestamp will be always different it depends when you run the test so in this case, you can simply call expect and to be trophy method, which basically values that there is some value and it's not empty or it's not missing in the response. So let's now try to run the test to make sure we have everything correctly. And as you can see, our API test passed. So congratulations, you have successfully created your first API post request test. 
Again, the idea is pretty much the same always. You again call request, in this case post, you provide it with some data and you verify that the endpoint done it correctly. In this case, the new user is created at this timestamp and it, this ID which we have provided. So let's move on. And now I want to show you how to actually perform the post request login. Again, very interesting scenario. So test post request login. And in this case, again, you want to call const response host. And let's take a look at the endpoint. So if you scroll down, you can see we have post login successful. And we need to call this API slash login and we need to provide it with this email and password. And we should get response to 100 and some token with some value. So let's go back and the endpoint again is in our case the base URL slash login. Again we need to provide it some data. In this case it's email. So let's find the value so we can copy it. And also the value is password. So let's take the password from here. And that should be it. Now let's create the response body. So again, json.parse. And we want to parse the response.txt. And now what we want to assert is first, again, let's response the status. Well, technically we didn't uh, assert the response here, but you should do it. So I'm sorry I didn't do it here. It's okay, but the common convention and best practices tells us to always assert the status first. So let's do it here. So expect response that status to be 200 and 200 is because the, our API documentation tell us we should get 200 which means success and then we need to assert that the token has some value so again expect now we need to take it from response body that token to be trophy to verify that we get some value inside the token Again, the token will be probably generated by random, so we don't know what the value is. We just want to make sure that there is any value at all. So again, let's try to run the test to make sure we didn't do any mistake. Run our API test and you can see our API test is passing. That's nice. And we can now move on to the third example. So create one more test post request login fail in this case so again async give it a request and technically we can just copy paste this from now because a lot of this stuff will be pretty similar so let's do it because if you take a look at the endpoint login unsuccessful, you can actually see that all we need to do is to remove, for example, the password and on the same endpoint, we should get response 400 and we should get error message. So we will remove the password and we need to change the assertion because we should get 400 and also there is no token. There is just an error and we want to assert it to be 
and we can give it the value of missing password. So save it. And you know what? We can now try to run all the tests. So let's do it. Now, if you run API test, it should run all six tests. And you can see all six tests passed. And because we are running them in a parallel sequence, it took one second to execute all six API tests. And that's the beauty of the API tests because they are much more faster than UI tests and they allow you to test a lot of backend stuff with ease. So that's all for the post request. Just a quick recapitulation. If you want to call a post, again, you just call await.request.post, you give it the endpoint URL and you give it some data in this format. It's always data and you can pass it whatever data you want. In this case, it's email and password. And you can see in this second example, it's just email. And then you can again get response body, parse it. And then in the same way, you can assert that the values are there or if they are not there. So that's it. And in the next video, we can take a look at the put request, which means that if you want to update some data, you can again test it and do it very easy with Playwright.